Hey guys, welcome back. It's Kat. Today we are going to be customizing and organizing my brand new iPhone 14 Pro Max in purple. And I'm going to show you my favorite widgets, some tips and tricks, and some fun games to play as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, here are some settings you're gonna wanna change. In settings, go to sound and haptics and then click on keyboard feedback and you can actually turn on haptic feedback now. You can also add a quick note to your control center. I use notes all the time, so this is very useful. And this is me just testing out the haptic feedback. I love using it, what do you guys think? Now let's get into my new favorite widgets. I have been using this app called I Am for like the past week and a half now and I really like it. Honestly, it's one of the only apps that I really like having notifications on because it sends you really cute reminders and you can have it on your lock screen as well. You see, I am calm and grounded. It is so cute. I also have it on my Apple Watch. So I get the notifications and then it tells me a motivational quote. It's so cute. All right, here we go to my widgets folder. This one is called Motivation Daily, and I've been really, really liking these self-help, motivational widgets and apps, so i definitely check it out if I were you. And now this app called Habit is one that I just found recently and honestly, I really, really like it. So there's so many different habits that you can click on and even customize and write your own to stay on track. You can choose the different days, the frequency, how long, and also you can set a timer. So say you make one every day to clean your room, you can just press on it and it will count down so that you know that you've done that duration of time. I really like it. I always have a million lists all over my desk in different notes. So I like this because it'll keep me organized and it looks really aesthetic up here. I like being able to like check them off. I recently read the book Atomic Habits. I absolutely loved it. So I feel like this is keeping me on track with my habits to make sure I'm not slacking off. Now, if you watched any of my other customization videos, you've definitely seen color widgets. I love using this app as well. There's so many different options and they even have an option for icons. So you can customize your entire phone aesthetic just by using this app. Do note that some of these you have to pay for. So you might have to click around a little till you find a cute one that's free. I also saw this one on TikTok. It is the Apollo app and you can actually have a pixel pet or pixel pal. You can see it in the top little corner and you can get a little cat, Hugo, dog, Rupert, hedgehog. Oh, you have to pay for that. But the cat and the dog are super cute. And if you press them like more than once, they'll like go to sleep or like go on a little run. I love it. I love it. It is called Apollo app. I've gotten so many questions about how I have these super cute shape and heart emojis on my lock screen and it is from this app called Top Widgets. There are so many different options. As you can see, I'm just clicking through. You can even add your own pictures. So this is going to show up on your lock screen. You'll have a little cat or a little heart and it honestly reminds me of the Tamagotchi days. <laughs> So now I'm just going to continue to look through and find my favorite ones and save them. So later when I show you guys how to add it to your lock screen, it'll be there and super easy. All right, now as always, I headed over to Pinterest and I'm finding some really nice wallpapers. Today I just searched like Tamagotchi aesthetic, <laughs> but I really liked this one. I feel like this will be good for my nighttime focus mode. Let me show you how I do it. I'm sure you guys have already played around with customizing your lock screen. I'm going to give you a little quick preview of what I do. So here's the picture I found on Pinterest and now I'm just going to add in the widgets. So I'm going to add in the ones from top widgets, the ones that kind of look like Tamagotchis, <laughs> like I said. So I'm going to scroll all the way down and find top widgets. Now we're just going to add in the little circles and click on them and you'll be able to see the ones you saved. So I want the moon and probably the heart. Before we go to customizing the colors, I'm just going to go and add in my I am affirmations. And I think this is so cute. This is my favorite part of my customization tutorial. And here is a little trick. So we can customize the font as we already know, but the color, there's actually a hidden color picker tool. 
So I really like that because then I can make it match the background photo I already have. This is actually a feature I use a lot. So I am now going to link my focus modes to my home screen and lock screen. So I feel like this is great because it kind of helps me wind down before I go to bed and I'll turn off notifications from certain apps and people depending on the focus mode. I have one for regular time, one for fitness, this is the one, and I also have one for filming, which I like as well because I'm always filming so it helps me stay focused, honestly. I have all my favorite wallpapers and widgets coordinated with my focus modes. Now I'm just going to go and add on another I am affirmation to this background as well. So I'm going to have it to the top where it says the date, but I'm going to put it there instead. Now I'm going to show you my favorite game that I just found out on TikTok. Check it out. Okay. This game is so fun. I saw it on TikTok and I'm obsessed with it. It's basically Brick Breaker that we used to all play back in the day on our Blackberries. <laughs> but now it's so fun to play with the Dynamic Island and I feel like it has some haptic feedback with it as well. Okay, try it out. It is called Hit the Island. I'm so excited to see how you customize your phone. So send me a screenshot on Instagram because I really want to see your aesthetics and the different widgets you use. <laughs> I hope that this video was helpful and I love making them for you guys. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube. Bye!